Hello, this is Jan. Today in this tutorial we will learn how to produce a cylindrical model from a terrestrial laser point cloud of a tree. So um, uh, you can execute the step of course for multiple segmented trees. I will show you later how uh, to set up this tree in a pipelines but from for computational reasons to make this video. I uh, work for now uh, with a relatively small tree. It's a Prunus avium tree, a cherry tree, which I scanned during my um, PhD. So uh, while the quality is quite good of this point cloud, it's quite a small tree and I hope uh, to uh, save some computations time while making this video. So um, the first thing, uh, the first step which we will do is um, you find all the QSM steps here under 3D Geometry QSM or you can also always type QSM here and uh, then you get No, you don't get the step. Um, it's simply called sphere following. So uh, um, here is just some citations given. Um, let's talk about the parameters. So first, um, the point cloud will be downscaled to two centimeters mm, internally. Um, this is to save computation time. You can of course modify to get the more accurate models. You can, uh, but then the computation also takes longer. Um, then for safety reasons, um, as there is an internal optimization method behind. Um, it will cluster and just look at the largest cluster. So 10 centimeter clustering range for this cloud, it means definitely it will process the whole cloud. But what it doesn't want to have is like a cluster here, uh, which uh, fools the uh, um, optimization method by far and then the optimization method thinks uh, models aren't good and tries to adapt the parameters. So this is just uh, two uh, fast pre-processing steps. Then you should, if you are not a super advanced uh, long time user, you should leave this uh, method, uh, this checkbox checked. It's for, uh, so whatever you type here in this three, um, simple forest will uh, find parameters for you and those are also quite good standard parameters anyway um, simple forest tries to predict better parameters from the point cloud quality what uh, you always should uh, modify is um, um, this so um, this vector of percentage numbers belongs to this uh, s parameter called sphere multiplier. Um, it will uh, multiply the uh, parameter with 0 0.75, this 57. It will leave uh, the two as a two with multiplying by 1.0, the so 100%. It will multiply by 1.5, so get 3 out of it, and so on. So it will uh, do for this 5 modifications of the 2 or whatever it finds internally instead of 2. The same is here and the same is here. So um, it will, uh, so then we have 
five versions of this parameter, five versions of this parameter, and five versions of this parameter. Um, it will do a combination, try out the combination out of all these parameters. So we have five parameters combined with five parameters. That's already 25 combinations. And then we combine these 25 combinations with um, again five. So we have 25 times five, it's 125 modelings. Uh, Simple Forest will do internally. Then it will compute uh, um, a quality measure and choose just the best model out of it. So uh, to get familiar, you might want to even set like this. Um, um, Cause here three times three times three is only 27. So it will just do a lot less computations um, the higher the quality is, the lower you should set this, but 125 computations are still uh, affordable. Mm. So I will leave this to standard. Um, so you can also get knowledge about these three parameters uh, in the PDF uh, in my user guide. I describe this method uh, on like 10 pages. I don't talk about the parameters here in detail because they are optimized anyway. Um, also in these 10 pages I talk about the optimization routine. So I think uh, you should never use a uh, second momentum order. You should uh, use uh, MSEC, second mom order MSEC. Mm and leave this, you can modify this later uh, when you are more advanced. For low quality uh, point clouds, I recommend using this. <coughs> Sorry. Mm, this parameter is just like the fitting method. Um, you have uh, the option to choose between seven uh, different cylinder fitting methods. Uh, leave this to this uh, standard parameter from my experience it's the best um, I also don't touch this parameter too often but uh, you can for this cloud uh, you can clearly make it smaller the larger the tree is uh, for buttress tree you would like to have even give something like uh, 1, ten, also uh, 0 0.1, 10 uh, um, centimeters for this cloud I make it uh, like this because it's a small tree uh, and um, yeah in the end leave this to 0 0.03 for the moment. That is another uh, interesting parameter. Uh, if you make it smaller, the smallest, uh, it uh, will tell you how many points it does to have in the sphere following method in each uh, uh, cylinder or circle fit. So you can set this to, to two if you want, but uh, decreasing this parameter will find you more structures um, and it might become less robust, but uh, definitely also uh, the computation takes a lot more. Mm. Leave this to fi five. Uh, if you are advanced, you can play around. Um, I also leave this always to the 100. It will test 100 cylinders before it accepts one. And uh, this I always leave to standard and just for low quality clouds if the root uh, is in a really bad quality always check your cloud before I increase this number so let's try out so you can see here already um, 
like it progresses relatively fast it just has to compute our 125 times this tree and it will uh, take about um, yeah maybe one minute 30 but for um, but for uh, really um, large clouds um, it will uh, it will uh, be um, a lot uh, a lot uh, slower so this is the first QSM we produced so we can see th here there is clearly some overfitted cylinders but we didn't improve our model at all until now so um, I will show you also uh, still one time mm, um, if I type here I will try out two I will be back when the uh, computation is done So in that case, from the computation time, it didn't do. Um, uh, it wasn't really uh, uh, longer, and the quality is uh, astonish. Uh, it's better. So we will work with this cloud, but be careful to reduce. Um, for the first computation, always leave to standard parameters, please. Um, but let's uh, do. Um, the next step so we um, want to do a quick uh, median filter it's instantly there so then uh, a new result will show up here and we can see look here this is a better result this is uh, the first result this cylinder is gone some others are gone too we improved the quality already uh, uh, a bit so um, what we want to do now is I explain you as soon as we have the results I um, it's a clusterization of this uh, input point cloud um, QSM based clustering and we need a QSM a, a seam this is the tree cloud which we used and a QSM of course the improved one and uh, we want to uh, make a certain number of clusters I put three here so let's quickly run this and now if we look at the scene mm, Um, um, let's give other colors so we have produced three clusters C three is a parameter which I uh, put for the cloud by using the QSM model and we can uh, see the stem and the major branches are colored blue and um, then this is the first cluster the and then we have like medium sized branching structure this is orange this is the second cluster and green uh, which is the third cluster so um, because if we look now um, at the next step 
which we will do. We will uh, try to improve the previous model. So we are following advanced. Um, you can again this um, choose uh, uh, optimization. Uh, this is uh, uh, there is just a few parameters um, which you can uh, adapt now. It's um, um, and I explained already before. Um, well, not this number of iterations uh, in each. Uh, you can reduce to save computation times, but I always leave this to uh, SAR. Um, I might make a dedicated video about optimization. But quickly, let's check. Um, let's check the input results. Because we have uh, imported three, um, three results. So it took, it needs, this step needs to have a successful uh, sphere following computation. So when we remember uh, there were three parameters optimized in this 125 computations, it chooses the best combination of the three parameters. And uh, here it loads the parameters and all the other parameters, they are saved in a little uh, struct. You need to select uh, the sphere following computation result when um, in a more complex script. The second one is um, the cluster ID. These are three clusters we can see here in the screen computed with the QSM based cl tree clustering step. And then of course it w also wants the uh, point cloud. And this one has to be exactly the point cloud which you imported in QM QSM based tree clustering. So um, then it will now it will uh, we have three parameters and it will optimize internally with 100 iterations, three parameters for the blue cloud and three parameters for the orange cloud and three parameters for the green tips. So we have nine parameters, so we optimize a nine dimensional parameter space. <coughs> <coughs> this should take a while. It's still quite fast, but uh, I will be back when it's finished. So, as I told you, the computation uh, took uh, already 10 times more because um, we are in nine dimensional parameter space. Um, but let's look at the results. And if we compare to this, that was our first modeling. And that was our second modeling. Uh, it got a tiny bit better, I would say. Um, of course, we want to uh, um, want to um, filter the results. So median filter. We have to choose the correct QSM. Mm. Then I do a correct shoots always. I don't think it's necessary here, but um, it will detect if um, shoots which grow up out of the stem so tiny branching structure which we don't call branches um, mm, 
I give uh, explanation also in my PDF document. I will just set to one. Uh, it doesn't matter that much. We will uh, we will have um, maybe underestimated uh, um, mm, shoots, but uh, it has. Let's look what we have until here. But there is um. So, so this is was our median filter. And then you can see this, for example, got uh, smaller. There is few others. And um, just one centimeter diameter. The real correction uh, will come now. We will do an allometric correction. And this allometric correction, it will not account, for example, to shoot corrected um, stuff anymore. Um, here I also explain in my user guide um, gross length and gross volume. I talked about it in my publication, at least about the gross volume. I uh, use the gross length today. It's a parameter which I personally invented uh, already during my PhD. And um, read uh, there, uh, read in my, uh, I will show you the PDF uh, after I execute the step. Um, so um, I will just apply. This is our final model. So why do we need to do such a correction? Mm. Let's um, try to select the cylinder and get Shouldn't it give me information? Um, anyway, all the branching structure is overestimated, I mean, uh, in TLS scans. So, um, Trust me here. So measure in cloud compare the distance from this point to this point, and you will see something like three or even four centimeters. And uh, but it's the tip of a branch. You don't want four centimeters um, diameter for a branch, right? You will uh, overestimate uh, by a magnitude. Uh, the biomass. So uh, in my PhD I invented the gross volume correction and the gross length is just like a uh, um, pendant to it. It just uses uh, length instead of volume and I think it's more robust. So um, you can colorize by gross lengths and of course you want colors not black and white so here is a gross length visualized so it's small at the tips where uh, it's green and it's also green here at the tips and it gets larger the gross length the more you go to the inner structure so for the stem it's blue it's really large 
and also this uh, branches which which still split up a lot are red to bluish here and um, there is a relation between the growth length and the radius and I use it statistically to correct my radii um, yes mm. this is uh, it I will show you now how to set up all these uh, steps in the real pipeline before I uh, show you the pipeline, let's uh, quickly uh, have a look in my user guide. So uh, there is also the filters explained, but um, let's go to QSM steps. So as I told you, here is input and output data described. Um, a full method description which also explains all the parameters uh, each parameter like it's uh, in computer is um, uh, in bold highlighted here I uh, we talk about the optimization and uh, there is just uh, uh, description of the um, advanced method and median filter correct shoots it's everything is explained here and the allometric correction I use R to give you overview over um, the statistics behind so we see here gross volume to radius relation inside the tree um, that's it I mean read it it's available uh, there is a link in the video description also a link to the software of course use it and now I will show you how to set up in the pipeline all these steps hello so now I uh, want to show you how to um, put um, the QSM modeling pipeline, how to integrate it in a full uh, plot processing scenery. So we have seen in previous tutorials how to model the ground, how to segment um, the vegetation into trees and how to prepare the vegetation cloud for modeling and as uh, input uh, management of input results gets uh, more complex um, I quickly show you what I did on the cherry tree um, so we have a tree group and uh, did some filtering we have the filtered cloud here we will use as input um, so let's quickly reproduce the steps we do uh, sphere following and now I misclicked accidentally uh, already um, at least I was tempted to do we had Euclidean cluster ring filter here also somewhere but uh, we need to take this cloud which is in the tree group as input I don't modify parameters I talked uh, before about this um, the next thing which I did was uh, a quick um, median filter on the QSM and then we went to points clusterize qsm based tree clustering and here it also gets a little bit interesting so uh, we take the cloud again this is this one and we 
take the QSM, we produce the filtered one as input. I set here three, but it's more about the input results is part of the tutorial. So um, then we did uh, choose sphere following advanced. And as I told you before, there are three parameters. So uh, we just did one modeling. So if there is just one sphere following parameter output, um, Compute 3 detects it as there is only one option. Then we need to check here and check the cluster IDs. And then we need to check here so uh, and need to exactly give it the same cloud we used to produce those cluster IDs. And then again, just one median filter. Choose the right QSM now, the advanced result group. Uh, we did correct shoots. Oops, misclicked. Um, here is the advanced results and we all always want to choose the latest filtered. Correct shoots, um, allometric correction. Shoot corrected, QSM, this is fine. Then I didn't uh, talk before, but we have um, QSM to ground extrapolation. So we cut a bit above the ground, right? And this step, it will just uh, extrapolate our stem uh, touching the ground. So of course we also have to give the DTM, but again, there is just one option. So, and then I also didn't talk about it. Uh, we might want to export our QSMs. Um, so we choose the QSM, which we want to export. We choose the name of the cloud. I think this is cloud1.xyb. And uh, uh, QSM will receive this name partially. Um, we um, can also export the cloud which we used in the same step. Um, and then just uh, uh, with this is optional so for this last input for DTM you uh, can if you don't click the DTM here uh, you will still have to click a group but if you don't click the DTM it will not uh, export uh, DTM and it doesn't matter if you click this group or this group but in case you want to export the DTM, you should uh, just click uh, those two. So this is also important, otherwise it will not export if you don't choose a folder. Um, in clouds, I want to create my test data. I created a new folder and okay so uh, you have different options how to visualize supply files um, gross volume gross lengths uh, you can visualize the stem uh, or you can choose to not uh, use color code at all um, you can deactivate uh, that it um, exports clouds um, and you can 
always downscale the clouds to save some uh, to save some um, uh, hard disk space. I mean, it's just for visual validation uh, what we do here, and um, yes, to be honest, I don't know what the last trees are. I always uh, leave these options to standard. Uh, you just you can try them out. You uh, I programmed them like uh, maybe two years ago. Uh, you always need to select the export folder, otherwise it will do nothing. And then you can click simply um, uh, run. So. So let's assume uh, uh, I didn't wait for the computation. I will uh, kill the compute tree process now. Um, let's assume uh, um, this is an older uh, output I generated. So uh, this is the folder I uh, put um, to generate the input and we generate three different types of input. Let's uh, first look at ply. Um, I open cloud compare. you can d do this apply all and voila we get our forest scenery what you might want to do is select all of them normals compute it's incredibly fast. So now we have a little bit 3D impression. And if you want to check um, plot one mesh, yeah, this is the fat tree here. Um, so if we go back to cloud, all the clouds have been also stored. Mm. We need to skip uh, the header line. And let me remove all the other plies. I mean, uh, it should be clear. Oops. I did remove too much. I did also remove the cloud. So now uh, you can check the visual quality. Um, okay, we have the cylinder, we have the cloud. You can um, you can also always check also in uh, um, compute tree, but um, uh, sometimes you uh, go to vacations and you set up c uh, computing 40 plots in batch mode and how you want to uh, you just export and then you can uh, inspect uh, plot by plot um, later uh, when you come back from vacations or computation over the weekend for multiple plots I guess you get the point and um, yes, uh, this is it. Ah, no, wait. So one last folder is missing. QSM details. Uh, um, yeah, it opens in Office. You know, the, if you are a Simple Tree user, 
you know how the output files are uh, generated uh, more or less let's um, so uh, here it will be always cylinder just in case I will implement truncated cone there will but it's not implemented yet uh, there will be a truncated cone uh, each line is a cylinder each cylinder has an ID and this cylinder is a child of this cylinder cause the parent ID is zero just the root cylinder has a negative parent ID start point this three end point this three radius volume computed out of uh, those seven parameters gross volume is here length is here gross length is here and then this is interesting I um, I uh, for those who process those three models in R um, so we have here um, um, how we generated the cylinder or its radius so the first cylinder we had this extrapolate to DTM and this is just the root cylinder it's an uh, to the DTM extrapolated cylinder and it is written here we have uh, several cylinders which haven't been modified by uh, any statistical means and those are sphere following those might be the most interesting cylinders for you here was an overestimated cylinder in between and it got median corrected radius and there is a decent bunch of allometric uh, gross length corrected cylinders so um, also uh, um, look in the user documentation what a segment is uh, just like the ID and parent ID we have it also for the segment each segment I mean a segment is uh, multiple cylinders split in uh, in uh, multiple cylinders between two branch junctions and those multiple cylinders have a median radius a median gross volume a median gross length there is uh, uh, various amounts to measure the branch order those three guys I invented myself um, and this is a traditional one uh, look in the user guide uh, I describe all three of them we have a branch ID branch ID 0 means stem a tree ID tree species uh, there was no step to detect the tree species but if this will be ever implemented here will be sh the tr species shown and um, the for geo uh, coordinates on the translation vector from because this is uh, center to zero 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 these coordinates you can reconstruct with those three guys and then gross volume parameter I didn't do gross volume fit so this is zero but uh, gross length that's it uh, it might not be have been written correctly I will bug fix this as soon as I can so this is it um, I just uh, quickly want to give uh, acknowledgments to Tobias Meissner and his labs um, he works at the University of Leipzig in a biology lab. <laughs>